Hey everybody, I hope you can see me and uh, hear me clearly. So welcome to the first ever DIY you know, live challenge. Uh, my name is Dapun and I am an animator by profession. Uh, I live in a country far away from where you are. It's uh, in India and I'm from a small little city called Guwahati in India. Uh, and I work with an animation studio. Uh, it's called Viper Studios and it has produced some of the most eye-catching animated films. Uh, over the years and uh, and yes i'm ex very very excited to be a part of this diy challenge and uh, so okay how is this going to work uh, so you'll all get to see you know what i'm doing you know so and uh, and as i instruct my way through it and as you follow along we'll all have a short little animated clip by the end of it do's and don'ts of stop motion there are a few rules you know we shouldn't do a few things if you want to stop motion to look good uh, first of all you need to plan out your shot you know, you need to like start planning, you need to like, um, if you hit upon an idea, start drawing it out, start making thumbnails, you know, little, little uh, drawings just to plan out your action. If you need, if need be, you need to act it out. You need to like go in front of the camera and just act out your scene. Use a tripod, always use a tripod for camera and lock the base. Make sure that your camera does not move at all because once your camera moves, your entire animation you know, the illusion is broken. Keep your character fixated, you know. Make sure that the character does not fall over when you go to take a picture. So keep a character fixated. If your character is imbalanced or in the air, suppose he's doing a jump, so the character will be in the air for some time. So you need to use these rigs. You know, you, come, you have these rigs that you get in the market and you need to use these rigs. So this is an example of a rig. You know, this, this is the character and, and if you are, if I want him to jump up, I can make him stay in the air, you know, with this rig and I can remove this rig later. So this is how, you know, jumps and runs are animated in stop motion. Never bump the camera or other equipment. Never ever do that. Like I said, never move your camera, never bump into camera because if you do that, it'll be, it'll take forever to get back, to get it back in the right place. Okay. so. Yeah, this includes never, you know, move any of the objects in your set, in, in the set that you're animating, that, that is within the frame of the camera. Okay, never touch the camera. Always use a remote to take pictures. Okay, so if you have an iPad, I, I think you have a volume rocker. You need to, you know, plug in your earphones. Uh, it'll have a volume rocker. The volume rocker is a good way of uh, taking pictures without ever using the, without ever touching the iPad. If you do need to touch the iPad, if you don't have a volume, uh, if you don't have earphones, then I suggest you tap very lightly on it. So I said, I'm going to teach you object animation. So it can be anything in the world, right? So how about uh, this shirt, right? I have a shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts. So I think I would like to see this guy move around a little, right? All right. So I'm just gonna use these as the tentacles, you know, so that you can like swim properly. And I'm just gonna just fold this. I'm just gonna turn this into a little lump so that it becomes the body. All right, just tie it, tie a knot, right? If you're if if you if you have a jacket or something which is difficult to tie, then just leave it. It's okay. You can just All right. There you go. A little fishy is ready. All right. Can you see this guy? Okay. Cool. So like I said, this is going to be my. This is going to be the app I'm going to be using. It's called Stop Motion Studio. I'm just pull out this. S pen, which I'm going to use as a remote. It's like this, I don't want to be touching the phone. So I, I need more room because I want it to swim around this area. So I'm just going to rotate the camera a bit. Cool. Now, the one good thing about stop motion animation is it's a good workout session. Okay, you need to. Like I said, you need to go pose your character, come back, take a take a pic. Okay. Now you won't, you'll see less of me and more of 
the fish that's my shirt so i want you to keep the shirt here okay so i want this guy to swim into the camera take a turn and then swim back out of the camera okay the action of the action of the swim you know like how the, how is the action is going to be so it's going to be like this 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 is how you no know, say octopus they they swim around so like i told you about timing so this comes fast so that it can propel the body upwards this is fast and then this is slow so that it can take its time to again go for the next push so it goes like this and like this so here the frames will be far apart here the frames will be slow so it will be like nearer to each other and the nearer they are towards the end of the action it will be very near to each other so it will come to a slow in and it will slow out again and fast here and slow in that's it that's the only that's the only rule okay so similarly when it pushes the body the body will go the body will suddenly go up and then slow down a little and again go up and slow down a little so because it's getting propelled by the by the tentacles okay are you guys ready with your swimming shirts okay i'm taking the first shot okay so i want this guy to come in really fast so maybe he comes in so this is uh, another thing that i forgot to show you is like the one cool thing about this app is you can see the previous frame right if you now if you see i am transparent right because this is actually what it's showing is the previous frame and this is the new frame okay i'm going to explain all, along the way now i'm just going to push it further up because uh, no he got propelled by the tentacles so it's going to go further up the picture take a picture wherever it's slowing down it's going to go the frames are not going to go far apart just remember that okay now i want this guy to slow in so i'm just going to move it just ever so slightly and i'm going to start moving these tentacles up okay now i want these tentacles to start slowing down in this pose because after this what it will do is it will start to propel itself forward so it i'll move the tentacles slightly so it feels like it's still moving and one last frame slow in come back and take a pick and now i want this guy to do this is here and i want him to do this okay so basically he will start to push himself upwards i hope so sorry i made a disappearance so okay, i'll delete that frame is going to move really fast so the spacing is going to be it's going to be spaced out more because i want it to move fast i can see the spacing this is the previous uh position and this is the next position 
so this has this is how far they spaced out because i wanted to be fast now even faster if it had been slow if it had been a slow movement i would have just pushed him ever just this much but because it's fast i'm going to push him till here all right even fast now it's going to start slowing down so it takes a little bit of patience and the best thing about stop motion animation is you do not know how it's going to look like until the end so it keeps you in suspense but if you follow the principles properly it shouldn't be that bad now it's going to start now i made the body slow here because it comes fast and it slows here and it's going to again go fast and slow here meanwhile the tentacles are going to move up a little start moving up and i'm also made him a little take a little turn this so is going to continue to turn and the tentacles will continue to move up Okay. So it's just a repeated action. and what actually sells what actually makes it convincing that it's moving is the slow in and slow out so when it go, comes fast and slows down it looks it looks realistic because nothing ever stops like this it stops like this everything stops slowly it takes it, it takes its own sweet time to, to slow down and stop it doesn't like stop in an instant that's why a slow in a slow out
All right, I think he's done. I think a little shirt should take a rest, and let's see how it turned out to be. So I'm just gonna play it. You see it. There I am. So I need to just tap it and have this bunch of options. Can you see them? Yeah. So there's a delete option right here. Uh, delete, 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 delete. All right. So tweak the timing of this and you know, like make it make the whole thing slow. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, thank you so much. And I, you know, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? So, you know, I, I hope that you enjoyed the session and, uh, we, and you'll be able to complete your video on stop motion clips as a part of our DIY challenge. Uh, okay, and this is just the first, by the way. And, uh, but if you'd like to know more about the live challenges coming to DIY, please make sure that you keep checking the challenges section in your DIY app. Okay. Mm -hmm.